20,000 AT&T workers across nine states are on strike. They see AT&T is engaging in unfair labor practices during contract negotiations. Our Grace McKenna spoke to local AT&T workers today and she joins us now here in the studio. How was that turnout today? It was pretty good, City. I spoke to about 20 local union members who were there today, and that was all with people here in the rain. It had been raining out there all day, and they tell me they're keeping, they're going to keep coming back, rain or shine, until AT&T starts negotiating in good faith. Local union members joined 20,000 other AT&T employees in strikes today. Their contracts expired August 3rd, but negotiations started long before that in June. It's just games on the company's part. Philip Evans heads up Chattanooga's Communications Workers of America chapter. He wants to see AT&T start to play ball in renewal negotiations. We're trying to get AT&T to bargain with us at the bargaining table. They've been down there for three months and have not gotten anywhere. For workers like James Knapp, contract negotiations are nothing new. But in nearly three decades in communications, he's only seen a strike like this once before. So we were all on strike. There was nobody making any money. And so I'd like not to see that happen again. Evans couldn't go into detail about the contract changes workers want. He says CWA has decision makers ready to go if AT&T will work with them. We're serious that, uh, you know, we're willing to do whatever it takes to get a contract. According to AT&T, the company has reached contract agreements for nearly 90,000 employees since 2017. Knapp hopes he'll become one of them soon so he can get back to work. If we can get them to negotiate in a timely fashion and uh, we can help support our families and keep, keep the lights on. Until then, he says he won't be discouraged. Support is high, morale is high, so we're willing to stay out here even in the pouring rain. As he waits for a new and fair contract to come his way. In a statement today to Channel 3, AT&T says a strike isn't in anyone's best interest. They say they remain ready to sit down with union leaders to, nego to negotiate new and improved contracts for employees. Live in the studio, Grace McKenna, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.